Westinghouse iGen 2200 off of Amazon. This is my first time ever opening this product. This is the box that the product comes in and uh, really excited. I'm gonna be using the generator to help power my um, RV. I have a small pull behind trailer that's really nice. Um, we've just got some basic user manuals here uh, for the iGen 2200 and the iGen 2500. Put that off to the side. Looks like uh, very quick instructions here on how to get the product started. Maintenance schedule, which is kind of nice. So I'm gonna keep this handy for sure. And we'll use this during the rest, latter part of the video. Okay, so inside the box, it looks like uh, pretty nice packaging here. We have our uh, accessory tray, which includes our oil, which is 0.37 quarts or 0.35 liters of oil four stroke oil, so basic oil that we'll make sure we get, um, that you should get in the future. This is the exact oil quantity that you need for the generator, so I'm told. So you just stick with that, you apply that directly into the generator, and then uh, you have the perfect amount of oil that you need. It comes with a nice little, the nice funnel that you can use to apply the oil and uh, without getting it all over the place. Not quite sure what that is yet. So we shall see. I'm gonna put this off to the side. We'll take off this accessory. Looks like nothing else. And there she is. I am so excited. Big, beautiful generator. Let's go ahead and pull her out and see what we have in store for us. Very nicely packaged. Not very heavy at all. Definitely, you can feel the equivalence to what is about 50 pounds of dumbbells and uh, not too bad. And yet, I haven't put the fuel in there yet. Again, Proposition 65, so don't lick it with your tongue. Unadvisable to do so. Let's get this plastic off here. And there she is. Beautiful iGen 2200 by Westinghouse with 1800 running watts and 2200 peak watts. If needed, here's our little pull cord. I'm assuming this is where the fuel goes, just a wild guess. And then here's the front too. These are all the little areas that we can put all the stuff that we need to, to access the power available from this generator. So today we are also going to do a start. So I'm gonna start it from scratch, cold as you see it now. And we will see how she does. And welcome back to the iGen 2200 Westinghouse inverter generator, super quiet, very light, very easy to use video. We just had our opening of the actual generator out of the box, and now we're gonna go ahead and start it on up. So let's go ahead, We've got our oil here, a little four stroke, 0.37 quarts of oil. Okay, so the instructions say to initially add oil. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my trusty, dusty drill here. We're gonna remove the two screws here, side casing very lightly. It looks like they're not very deep. We're gonna see if this will let us remove the casing here. Okay, it's not too bad. All right, so it does take a little bit of force but it looks like we've got basically these little notches here that help keep it in place and just these two screws. So take your time with that. I was definitely pushing it a little bit, but felt like it just took a little bit of firmness in order to get that out. Now we gotta figure out where to add the oil. I'm assuming we're gonna add the oil here. So I'm just gonna keep the device, the generator upright here when I add this oil. I'll put the plug, comes with a little dipstick, which is nice says high or low. It does seem like there is some oil already there. Let's go ahead and put the funnel in here. Here's our trusty, dusty four stroke engine oil. Again, 0.37 quarts, the engine here. Oil smells great. Okay, looks like it's going well. Nice. 
that is exactly 0.37 quarts of four-stroke engine oil. Okay. I also recommend getting some sort of rag or something. A bit of a paper towel here, probably a good idea. This is not the cleanest part. <clears throat> Looked like we had a little bit here at the end of the funnel. Still pouring in there. A little bit of an overflow action. Nothing too dramatic. Okay, dokie. Make sure there's nothing else that we need to do. I believe the next step is adding fuel. So I'm going to prematurely just go ahead and cover this back up. Okay, there we go. Tighten this through. Okay, cool. All right, I'm gonna got some oil on this lid here as well. Boy. Got messy real quick. Put that in there. Look at my trusty, dusty instructions here. Number two, add unleaded gasoline to the tank. So just a little side note, I did go out and I purchased ethanol-free premium fuel. Um, that's how I always run my smaller engines, just so that way we get all the ethanol out of the picture there. Unscrew gas cap on top of tank and insert clean funnel into the tank. We'll go ahead and okay, use everyone. that. Okay, everyone, so we're back, and I have found some funnels. So we're gonna use a funnel, alternate funnel, for my fuel. Just gotta make sure it's cleaned off a little bit. We don't want any uh, debris going inside the engine. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you up close. The instructions made note that in here, there is a little fill line, as you can tell, that little red area right there. It just doesn't want the fuel to go much higher than that. So just keep that in mind whenever you are filling this. Just gotta make sure you don't go over that spot. Of course, my black funnel here is gonna make it a little bit more difficult. And what's even more difficult is that So I'm just going as slow as I can here. So just a little side note again, while we're loading this, um, premium fuel, ethanol free. Just how I like to run all my small. Okay, well, of course, ended up going a little bit higher than what I was supposed to be. So we'll see how that goes. Unfortunately, it kind of stuck on me real quick. There was really no um, audible cues there that it was getting fuller. So if you can see that water line, I'm definitely at least uh, an inch higher than that, but at least I'm not over the cap. Okay, so the fueling portion is complete. <clears throat> Go ahead and put the cap back on now. Okay, good. All right, moving along here. Let's check our instructions. I decided not to fly off. Add unleaded gasoline, we did that. Unscrewed gas, we did that. Slowly add gasoline into the fuel tank. We did that. Gasoline level should not be higher than the fuel neck. Oops, secure gas cap. Put it on there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the moment that we've all been waiting for. So now we are going to do the process of starting the generator. All right, starting procedure. Turn the fuel vent to the on, fuel tank vent to the on position. Okay, we're going to on. 
Okay. <clears throat> Turn the engine fuel control switch to the choke position. All right, so we have right here in the front, the, this is considered the engine fuel control switch to the choke position. All right, so I don't know if you have to, let's see. Okay, well, I think it's already there actually. It was already there straight from the factory, okay? All right, all right, and then it looks just briefly running ahead. It's showing that we firmly grasp and pull the recoil handle slowly until you feel increased resistance. At this point, apply a rapid pull while pulling out from the inverter. So basically pull the cord to start the engine. Once you get it there, as the engine starts and stabilizes, turn the choke switch back to the run position. Plug in electronic devices. Okay, so let's go ahead and give it a try. Here we go, iGen 2200. And this is our first attempt to start completely out of the box. Hopefully I didn't do anything wrong. And we'll see how it goes. Started right up. We're in run mode. And that's it. First, first go, started right on up. <laughs> Fantastic. Super excited, now we have power coming out of there and uh, yeah very excited about this so let me grab a heater we'll run a pretty sweet heater and we'll find out if we're really getting power now let's see how it does running a heater